The South Carolina Department of Transportation's Environmental Services Office, or SCDOT's ESO, has identified three areas within SCDOT's strategic plan that will significantly improve the ability to deliver projects on time and on budget. These areas are mitigation credit coverage for prospective projects, consistent identification of red flags early in the project development process, and consistent general permit application submittals. ESO collaborated with researchers at the University of South Carolina to develop applications to achieve these targeted goals. Dr. Nathan Wynn was a principal investigator for the project. Several GIS platforms were investigated at the start of this project for the mitigation forecasting tool, project screening tool, and e-permit. Ultimately, we chose ESRI's ArcGIS Online because SCDOT specified that the tools need to be available agency-wide and to its contractors. As for the e-permit application, we use Survey123. It is also an ESRI product. The key advantages of using ESRI products include the ease of deployment and maintenance for SCDOT IT staff, ease of use and access to the tools since they are web-based applications, and flexibility in terms of the number of devices that the users can use, whether they are in the office or on site. The Mitigation Forecasting Tool, or MFT, improves SCDOT's transparency for environmental mitigation associated with project delivery. The MFT removed two risks associated with mitigation banking, mitigation credit demand and bank location. All users are now able to search by watershed to estimate stream and wetland credit demand. This feature will assist mitigation bankers in determining the location and size of future mitigation banks, basing it on SEDOT's anticipated future needs. The development and use of MFT has strengthened the relationship and improved transparency between SEDOT and the banking community. Additionally, the MFT has decreased mitigation risk for SCDOT project delivery and increased the number of available banks in South Carolina from 16 in 2014 to 78 pending and or approved in 2021. ESO ensures the development of SCDOT's projects to avoid, minimize, and mitigate impacts to South Carolina's natural and human environment. Endangered species cemeteries, and jurisdictional waters are examples of red flags that should be identified early in the development process to assist engineers in project design and schedule. ESO's ability to identify critical red flags had been hampered by inconsistent screenings, which produced limited results, contributed to project delays, and cost overrun. The Project Screening Tool, or PST, now provides ESO and engineers with a method to screen 100 plus data sets for red flags early in the project development process. An area of time savings was being able to use a unique project identification number to zoom into the project location. PST applies a project area buffer to produce screening reports identifying potential environmental concerns. PST reduces time and increases ESO's productivity. A desktop screening of limited data sets, which previously took four to six hours, now analyzes more than 100 data sets in just a few minutes and yields consistent results among all users. PST's internal traction prompted the development of customizable components, or widgets, to assist SCDOT's planning and right-of-way divisions. ESO now provides the planning division with all critical environmental data needed to generate project-specific feasibility reports in 30 minutes or less, saving 10 to 12 hours of work. A parcel screening widget identifies the number of parcels along a project area. The right-of-way division is now able to generate an adjacent property owner list in a matter of seconds, saving two to three hours of work. PST was quickly adopted within ESO because of the user-friendly design and consistent screening results. Identifying red flags early in the project development process avoids potential pitfalls leading to engineering redesign, increased cost, and lengthened project times. PST's combined functionality provides ESO and engineers with a more streamlined project delivery process. Sections 401 and 404 of the Clean Water Act require the submittal of general permits, or GPs, for transportation projects having unavoidable impacts on wetlands and streams. SCDOT's GP submittals had been inconsistent in format and content because of differing workflow practices of the numerous consultants on contract. 
This often lengthened the required review by U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, or USACE, and contributed to approval delays. E-Permit is an easy-to-use, step-by-step process which standardizes all SEDOT's GP submittals to USACE and ensures consistency among consultants on contract. E-Permit provides built-in quality control checks, form fields are auto-populated based on project information, and users are prompted to answer questions or upload required documents based on selected answers. Through coordination with USACE, we have enhanced our avoidance and minimization section to address components that SCDOT had not previously highlighted in prior submissions. This addition of a simple checkbox ensures that SCDOT shows all possible avoidance and minimization measures. Beta testing of the e-permit application and its reports have generated very positive feedback from SCDOT internal users, consultants on contract, USACE, and other state DOTs. Previously, it would take between 15 to 20 hours to gather, document, and format all necessary information for a GP. Using ePermit, a GP now takes an hour or less and provides consistently formatted submittals for expedited USACE review and approval.